Hello again, this is Rick Frost, K4REF. Welcome back for another one of our WinLink update videos that will cover features in RMS Express that you might not be aware of. In this program, we'll be looking at how to use the new ICS213 form that has the new reply feature built in. Let's take a look. Before we get started, I want to make sure that you have a fundamental understanding of how to use forms. To do that, I want you to go and watch my WinLink update, How to Use Forms in RMS Express video. That video will cover the basics of how to use forms. It will tell you what a form is, where you can go to get form files, how you install them, and the basic steps to using the three-part file. To watch the video, if you'll make your way to the winlink.org website and go to this link, uh, winlink.org forward slash RMS Express Forms, that'll take you to the RMS Express Forms library page. If you scroll down to the bottom of that, you'll find the video on how to use forms. This is also where we're going to find the new ICS 213 two-way form, the 1.05 version or greater. So watch this video, come up to speed, and then we'll continue on. When you download your new file, it will look like this. It will be a zipped file, and after you unzip it with whatever software that you normally use, go ahead and open that folder. Within the folder, you'll see six files and a README file. Uh, you can open the README file, and it will give you the current information uh, on the new form uh, and things that you might want to know about it. Uh, but that file is not important to keep. It doesn't need to be installed uh, in the Templates folder. Uh, the files that you're interested in installing are these six files. Uh, there will be three that are the initial file and three that are the send reply file. So you'll copy all of these files and put them uh, in the folder in RMS Express. Where you're going with it is the C drive, RMS Express, Global Folders, and then the Templates folder. That's where you're going to put these. So after you get those installed, you're all set to go. We're looking at RMS Express, and you'll notice that K4REF is who's going to be sending the message. Let's go ahead and use the new template. What you'll need to do is go to Message and go to New Message. Now, I have a shortcut that I've made, uh, ICS213, and in my earlier video I showed you how to do that, but I'm just going to go to Select Template. This lists all of the templates that I have available. The one that you want to choose is the new ICS213 two-way initial. You always want to choose the initial form, uh, so just highlight that form and hit Select. When you hit Select, it will automatically open up the form in your browser, whatever browser you have chosen as your default. In this case, I'm using Firefox. Uh, so at that point, you'll just go in and you'll start typing in all of the information that you're going to need uh, to have in this all of the slots here. Uh, you'll notice that I'm just clicking on them because I've typed a lot of this before. Uh, but let me go ahead and finish this form and we'll come back in just a minute and show you how to proceed. Here's the filled in form. You notice that I have all the blanks filled in on the message. Going to Jim Snyder. It's a test message. It shows the approved by and position title. So it's ready to go. If you go down to the bottom, you'll see the submit bottom in the bottom left hand corner. All I need to do when I'm finished typing and it's ready to go is hit the submit button. When I do, it sends it over to RMS Express. Uh, sometimes this window doesn't always close, so if it doesn't, you can just minimize it. So now we're looking at the form, and you can see that it's populated with all the information that I had typed in. Uh, it also has a small attachment put to it. The only thing else that I need to do at this point in time is to type in the address of where it's going. In this case, it's going to KC4EM. Uh, that's the address that we're going to send it to. So at this point, it's ready to go. So all we need to do is make sure it's a WinLink message and put it in, post it to the outbox. So we click on that, and now if we come over and click on the outbox, we'll see it there, and it's ready to go. And now to send this message, we're just going to use a typical Telnet session. So we're just going to open the Telnet session, and we'll start that, and we will send this message out on its way to KC4EM. 
So now you'll notice we're KC4EM, and we're going to go and check our email. So let's open a Telnet session and start that up. You notice that we received a message incoming. And here we have our message. You notice it's populated with all the information and it looks great in this HTML form. All we have to do at this point is print this message out. So you come over here to click to print this page and when you click on that it brings up your typical printer interface. And all at this point all you have to do is hit OK and it print out a copy of the form. And that's all you have to do. You've received the form. Let's close this. If we were going to respond to this message now and reply to it, this is the process. We would highlight the message that we're interested in dealing with, come up to Message, and now we're either going to hit Reply or Reply to All. One of those two is what you're going to hit. When you hit Reply, it will automatically bring up the window with the message already populated. So here is our reply. You notice that it has all of the same information. The only thing that you can't change is the original content here. If you'll scroll down at the bottom, you can see here's the reply section. Section. So we're just going to type in some information. We're going to say, this is great. And then we'll just have a reply by. And this was coming back from Jim. And at this point, it's ready to reply to. So the original form has all of the original information, and the reply is here. Well, again, we'll come down to the bottom and hit Submit. When we hit the Submit button, it will go and populate the form with all of the same information. And you'll notice that the original content is listed here at the bottom. If you scroll up to the top, there's an area where it says this is the reply to the message. So if you didn't actually get the HTML form on the far end and all you got was this, you would fully understand what's going on. So at this point, it's ready to go back. It's already got the address in it because we're replying. So all we'd have to do is post it to the outbox. Once it's in the outbox, we can come over here and look at it. There it is ready to go. All we've got to do now uh, is open a Telnet session and send it. Well, now we're back as K4REF, and the final step in the process is to log on with the Telnet session and pick up the reply. So let's go ahead and do that. So you can see here, here is our incoming message that includes the attachment. And there's our message. You can see it's we have the original message and the reply. This is great. So there is the complete reply message that includes the original. And again, all we would do is come up here to click to print this page. And we could print this out. It's a normal printed page that we would give to whoever needed it. There's our typical print box. So that's it. That's how you use the new ICS 213 two-way message form. A couple last things and we'll be done. First off, if you need someone to practice with, please feel free to send a form message to me and I'll be happy to reply to you. Just send it to K4REF on the WinLink system. Secondly, when you have a message form like this and you click on here to have it printed and make out a hard copy, one of the things that would be nice to be able to do is to be able to make a PDF copy. If you don't have uh, advanced Adobe Pro and want to make a PDF copy, this is a really great software to use. It's called Bullzip PDF Printer and it makes PDF copies just from printing it out here and then you can save it however you want it. It's a terrific software. I highly recommend it. If you go to their webpage www.bullzip.com and just find the free version of it you'll be all set to go. 
Finally, I want to say congratulations to Mike Burton, the forms administrator in the Windlink Library, and his entire team for finally coming up for a solution for this particular ICS form. It's one of the first ones that everybody wanted to do, and it's proved to be the most difficult to do because it's a two-way form. Congratulations to the whole team for coming up with such a great solution. That's it for this update. For more information on Winlink, please go to the main website at winlink.org. You can get everything there from current Winlink news to all the details of Winlink in the Book of Knowledge. If you want to learn how to install, configure, and operate RMS Express, please go to my YouTube channel by searching for K4REF and watch my complete Winlink RMS Express training series that covers all the details of how to get started. So that's it for this update, 73 from K4REF. <laughs>